So here is the Git repo where you have the complete step towards the installation process. You can see all the steps here and you can see how to use the installer here. So the first step is to go and create a folder in the desktop. So here I'm creating a new folder and naming it as clone. So you can give any name, okay? So I'm naming it as clone and then you have to open it. So now we are inside the uh, folder. Now go back to the page, which is the Git repo and copy the first link. Okay, you can see the step one, you have to copy that. And then go to the folder, then right click there and open the terminal inside the folder. Now you have to paste it there. Okay, so I'm pasting the first step here. Okay, so after pasting it, enter and let's wait. So as you can see, the unified installer has come inside the folder. Okay, now let's go back to the repo and here we have the step 2. So I'm copying the step 2 here, which is to add execute permissions to the installer. So now let's uh, copy, I mean paste it in, uh, inside the terminal. Okay, so I've pasted that as well. Now after that, you have to click on the installer. So once you click on the Plon Unified Installer, you'll get such a window and click on the install button. So here you have to set the installation directory. So I'm setting it as the directory which I've created. Okay, you can create a slash and you can create a subfolder inside the clone folder. So I'm creating a folder called instance and clicking on next. So as you can see, the instance folder has come there. Then you have to enter the password. So I'm entering our password. Okay. So you have to enter your system administrative password. After entering the password, click on next. Okay. So you have to set a plan administration password. So you can set whatever password you need. Okay. So here is the option to create a password. And after that, you have to click on next. And then you can see the packages are being installed. Okay. So actually this takes a little bit time. Okay. This take a lot of time. You have to be patient and wait for it. Okay. So each of these packages are getting installed. Let's wait. As you can see, uh, the installation has completed. Okay. So here's a window which says Plon 6.0.2 Classic has successfully installed. Okay. And you can see, you know, what all things you have to know next and all is given inside the folder. Now, after this, you have to click on done. Now you have the log here. So inside the log, you can see what all packages have been installed, what all process have been taken place and all. Okay, so you can open it and see the details. So I'm closing it right now. And then you have the instance here. Open the instance. So inside the instance also, you can see the folders which have been created. Now open the terminal inside the instance. Okay, then you have to type bin build out. So this is actually to ensure everything is installed successfully. So as you can see, uh, the updating instances and all has come. And then you have to add bin instance FG. Okay, enter it. So here you can see the serving on 8080. So you have to open the Chrome. And then you have to give localhost 8080. So clone is running in 8080. So I'm typing localhost 8080. And click on enter. So here you have your clone. Okay. So you can click on create a new plon site. And you can add the username as well as the password. Okay. If you want, you can save it for further logging in. And then here's your site. So click on create plan site. So here we have a plan site. So this is how you install the plan using our installer. So it's that simple.